Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com geeking out with you today over some awesome gear. So today we're geeking out over the Dell XPS 13 with the Skylake processor. And as many of you know, I've been using this for quite a while now. I've been using this for over a month. It's been my traveling companion. It's gone on three different trips with me now and I'm calling it. This is the best travel laptop of 2016. So this laptop is amazing. I do want to thank Dell for sending this for me to review. Uh, they are not paying me in any way, shape or form to do reviews around this laptop. I've been experiencing it. I've thrown everything I can think of at it. I've thrown my graphic design work at it. I've thrown photography at it. I've thrown video editing in Premiere Pro at this thing. And it's been practical for all of it. It's performed admirably and none of you have noticed the difference of this being my primary workhorse lately versus my iMac or even my 15 inch Asus laptop. And that's because it's that good. My version is a little bit more robust. You can get a scaled down version. I'm using the 4K version with Gorilla Glass, 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD hard drive, which is also a Samsung hard drive. It does have the i7 Skylake processor, with two physical cores and four logical cores. And yes, I'm tired of you nerds in the comments whining about the argument of what quad core is. We'll do a video about it at some point. But this is a baller. This is a boss. This is one of the most robust machines that I've ever used in terms of a laptop. It's been my overall best laptop experience. And by the way, guys, I've used all of the Mac laptops now. I actually spent a lot of time recently on some of these trips going to Apple stores and also collaborating, working with a bunch of friends of mine. And I've been using all of the new stuff. I'm gonna have some videos coming up about my first impressions. I've used everything from the iPad Pro, the Microsoft Surface Book, the Microsoft uh, Surface Pro 4. And I have some great things to say about a lot of these. But at the end of the day, when I look at the best travel laptops in the market, and I look at everybody in my community who uses the 11 inch MacBook Air, Everybody uses the 13 inch MacBook Pro. As far as a practical travel laptop, the Dell XPS 13 leaves all of them in the dust. With an 11 inch form factor, a 13 inch infinity display, which means very little to the rest of you. It's just that it's a borderless, beautiful 4K display if you decide to go there, or at least near 4K. Um, this is a great laptop. I do have some minor gripes about it. The awkward placing of the uh, camera does bother me. Uh, but I just use the Logitech C920 webcam anyway. But if you're trying to travel very light, it's a usable camera. I just don't like the viewing angle because it's awkwardly placed in the bottom left hand corner. So that bothers me. I've never been a fan of trackpads. That's why I have the wireless Logitech Master Mouse. The MX Master Mouse is great. There is a scaled down version for travel. And so I prefer to use a mouse over a trackpad and this trackpad is a primary example of why. But to be honest, I don't feel that the Apple trackpads I've used in the past have been really any better. Comparatively for the price point, one of the, some of the features you get that you don't get on the MacBook 13 inch or the MacBook Air models is you get touchscreen. This is something we've wanted for a long time. Even I Justine, who is like the, the biggest Apple fan on the planet as far as I'm concerned, has brought up how nice and convenient it is to have a touchscreen on a laptop when you want one. And Apple has really been lagging on this and I think it's just because they don't wanna cannibalize the iPad line or they believe wrongfully that would cannibalize the iPad line. I've wanted to touch screen on this iMac forever. And I think that would make the iMac the pen ultimate computer experience if it had touch screen. So come on Apple, give us what we want. In terms of performance, power and battery life, uh, this is huge. I've been able to get on average for the way that I use it, six, eight, or even nine hours on this, just depending on what I'm doing. If I'm doing video editing, yes, it's gonna take up more juice and it's not gonna last as long. But if I'm doing web browsing or writing my articles uh, for things like How Design or Creative Pro or Print Magazine, then this is gonna be more than fine. And when I'm traveling, a lot of times I'm not doing that heavy lifting anyway. A lot of times I like to do basic things focus on what I'm doing in the moment, check email, surf the web, stay up to date on social media, and this allows me to do that. But in the event that I need to edit my photos just like that, in the event that I need to slap an SD card in there and grab some video content off of this camera, 
it's letting me do that. It's letting me work super fast and produce great results. The render time on this was great for editing one of these YouTube videos. It was able to crank one out in about maybe somewhere between eight minutes for a five minute video. And I think um, a 12 or 10 minute video was around 15. Uh, did it get hot and did it get noisier while it was rendering that? Absolutely, doesn't matter. It got it done and any laptop I use was going to you know, have those particular issues. So I really feel like this is a great travel laptop if you're working on the go. If you're using the non 4K version and you're using the uh, HD model that doesn't have the Gorilla Glass or the touchscreen, then you will get longer battery life. You can get somewhere between 12 and 15 hours of battery life and so compared to some of the Apple models, I think that that's gonna really help you if power and productivity is your game. The caveat here for those of you who are creatives is you'd have to live with the Windows operating system and some of you are gonna be bothered by that, UI scaling is gonna bother you, and that's more a function of the software than the performance of this in terms of hardware. So in terms of visuals, in terms of graphics, in terms of resolution and a great display, this is all aces. In terms of productivity, in terms of beautiful and robust, durable hardware, it's gold. So I highly recommend this. This has been great for me. I love having the option of the Thunderbolt 3 or the USB 3.0 uh, capabilities. I love that has an LED indicator for the power so that I can see that. I really wish that other laptops had something like this. And uh, the one other thing that I would say is the only real thing that bothers me about this laptop is that I need to use two hands when opening it because of the way the hinge is. But other than that, I think that this is one of the best laptop experiences I've ever had out of any laptop product that I've ever used, and I've used a lot of them. I've literally, even in the past month, probably ran through 20 different mobile devices that I'm gonna have to talk to you guys about on this channel at some point. I've got a lot of B-roll footage. Um, I've got notes from first impressions. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, I've even used the big brother to this, the Dell XPS 15, and I have to tell you, that I really think that if you can live with the Windows operating system, that that is a Mac Pro killer. Uh, so I definitely have some good things to say about that. You'll have to stay tuned for that video coming up. In any case, I have a ton of laptop recommendations for you guys in the description below. So make sure you're checking that out. Maybe it'll help you in your buying decision. I want to thank our friends over at Dell for sending this over. This is the field commander of the Army of Awesome. This has helped with getting all of this done. And again, this is one of the best laptop experiences that I've ever had. And I really feel that for travel, if you're someone like me who's flying all over the place, taking buses and trains, that if you need something lightweight, robust, great resolution, and a lot of battery life, the Dell XPS 13 is probably the best you could ask for. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Let me know if there's other gear that you guys think I should be reviewing here. I want you to tell me that in the comments. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and geeking out with me over the Dell XPS 13, the best Ultrabook of 2016, as far as I'm concerned.